Now, before I get started, there's going to be some cussing in the video and the article may be disturbing, but this is my first time reading it. But in, in case, if that's the case, then, um, and, and of course, there'll be cussing in the video as well because of what I have to say. So pause the video if you have children and escort them out the room. Now that you've unpaused, you know the drill. Well, well, well. You're wondering who the fuck is this Neand, this Neand the thug piece of shit. This is Clay Conway, who who's who's um a pitcher in a in a, at a Delaware baseball team at a university. A univer yeah, university. I'm sorry if I'm tongue twisted. I've just I've had a long day and just this is some things I gotta get out of my chest. But it's kind of funny that I stumbled upon this article on the same day that Bill Cosby was wrongfully accused, wrongfully convicted and sentenced for because a bunch of um a bunch of uh Carolyn Bryant wannabes, especially Hannibal Hannibal Bird versus Buck Dancing Ass and the DA and whatnot are all I just made just made a big fat mockery of rape, including the Me Too movement has already proven it's a fucking joke, especially with now the Agia Argento scandal that they're trying their best to save fucking face and Julie Chen's showing her natural ass trying to defend her fucking rapist husband, who was already proven rapist, and he admitted to being a rapist, and there was a bunch of receipts, and then Me Too is trying to take Hush money from the rapist himself, Les Moonves. So yeah, Me Too, you are a fucking joke. And of course, Me Too was nowhere to be found with this piece of shit. So you're wondering, what did this piece of shit do? What does it have to do with everything I've said from the very beginning? Let's go. Let's see. What did this Neanderthal terrorist piece of shit do? Six women accused former University of Delaware pitcher of rape. Six additional rape charges are being added to... Oh, so it turns out he's already in, in deep shit from his first one. It says, it says six additional rape charges are being added to accusations against a former University of Delaware baseball pitcher who who is already facing charges of first degree rape. The new charges charges encompass five additional who say 22 year old Cl Clay Conway of Georgetown, Delaware, sexually assaulted them. Delaware State Police confirmed Monday night. They come a month after Conway was charged of rape that the police took took in his hometown in June. So since the arrest, the arrest state police have, have received reports of two rapes that occurred in 2018, one from 2017, the other one, 2013. Notice, and, and they were from the ages of 16 and 17. Notice how they, like, these victims that are young did not come 40 fucking years later, like um, Cosby's... Uh, uh, accusers that are making a fuck, making a mockery of rape. So basically, they are mocking these victims who are 16 and 17 years old who have no fucking problem. And they said, well, there was one in 2013. Okay, let's do the fucking math. It was okay. Do that. The earliest one was 2013. So let's go. So five years. Well, you know, five years. But it didn't take them a decade because you know they're trying to find out who this piece of shit is. Now they know, especially I'm pretty sure she came forward to identify what this piece of shit looked like, and they were 17, 16 and 17 years old. These were kids. But they sure as hell came a lot faster to come forward about this piece of shit. So I'll continue. So Conway was indicted on additional charges Monday and now now faces six counts of second degree rape in addition to one of one one count of first degree rape, police said. Joe Hurley, Conway's defense attorney, said his client has not been arraigned on new charges, but his next court date is on October 1st. So last month he pleaded not guilty in the Georgetown rape charge. His accuser in this case is a 20-year-old 20, 20 woman. So Kanye was a key pitcher at the university baseball team in 2018 season, appearing the 29 innings over 22 games. When he was indicted, the university, university's director of external relations, Andrea Tippett, confirmed Conaway had been a member of the baseball team, but is no longer. She declined to, to further comment apart, saying that he was no longer on the campus. So especially now the police confirmed, there's like evidence. And then, of course, now they, they said there, there's already been like cases from 2013 to 2017 so they're not that far apart but notice they didn't wait a fucking decade and these are these are young women 
Because you know I like how they say, like, oh, uh, they wouldn't believe me. I'm like, okay, it's one thing. You went to the cops and they didn't do shit. And, of course, you know, they're going to make a report. Then that's when you could say, oh, they didn't believe me. That's when, you know, I'll believe that. But so far, since they've already made track records, this is 2013. Since 2013. Yeah. Ah, my, 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 my. Mm-mm-mm. And then they said this has happened, like, like, and then this happened when, oh, that's, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Whenever they said the 16, 17 years old, this dude was already young. He was already a, a, a serial rapist, and rapist from the get-go, age 16 or 17 years old when this piece of shit did this. But, well, I wonder what the sentencing is going to be like. I'm not going to be surprised they're going to give this piece of shit a slap on the wrist, because you know how Me Too wants to make black men in the face of rape, especially lamestream media, but... Either thing, but you don't go after these scumbags. The difference is whenever like a criminal a criminal's like d- does something like this, they'll actually get punished for it. But when it comes to your Clay Conways and your Brock Turners, they don't get locked up. And they repeatedly do the shit again and again. You have to, and you obviously you wait till someone ends up fucking dead. But yeah. And this has happened, and this this news came out on the same fucking day Bill Cosby was wrongfully fucking sentenced go fucking figure go fucking figure i'm sorry i can't fix right i said a long day and i like i said just still still pretty heated but you know but i'm not surprised with this shit i'm really not not at all with but you know what i know lynch media is not going to say shit which is why there's a lot of YouTubers out there that make channels reporting shit like this because lynch media won't fucking do it. So it's up to up to us that has to do it. Okay? So fuck this guy. And if he does get locked up, well, he, you know what? I hope any I hate that you know what? He's going to be he's going to he's going to have to he's going to be he has to fix up his hair, put a little makeup and he has to toot that ass up for his his friends. He's not going to appreciate and drop the soap, bitch.